just going to take a minute and walk around the 2011 ZX-10R Vista Kawasaki project bike. We lowered the forks in the top clamp to lower the front end. We also added a radial mount front end lowering kit. Behind the clutch cover we added our ultra clutch mod and heavy duty um, spacers and uh, clutch springs just to give it some more spring pressure and make sure we get as much clutch life and also mile an hour out of it as we can. It also has our new Alien Head 2 full exhaust system. Uh, the stock head pipes on this bike were, were incredible. They're probably the uh, probably the best head pipe design I've ever encountered with a uh, an OEM bike so we weren't able to pick up a whole lot of additional peak power although we were able to really tune the mid-range power um, get some more um, get some more mid-range to help the bike launch better um, and really get it to move through the middle uh, we also added our our drag shock EZ, uh, which is a new line of, of shocks we're coming out with next year, that uh, they're just a more economical shock uh, and it will really work fantastic. The, uh, within a couple passes, Richard Richard Gadsden was able to log a 144.60 foot on this bike, which is which is really fantastic, really without having a whole lot of experience with it. Uh, Terry McIntosh did a fantastic job, made one of our made one of his uh, aluminum swing arms for us. It's uh, black powder coated, looks fantastic, got room for a nitrous bottle uh, if you ever decide to go that route. Also has the uh, fittings, it's airtight so that if you want to put an air shifter on the bike that you can do that. Um, you can also see we left the uh, we left the rear wheel speed sensor on there so that uh, you know the bike still has all of its traction control and all that. Uh, Vortex rear sprocket was added. We've got the thing geared so that it, it goes through the quarter mile in, in sixth gear. Um, uh, Richard was able to run 157 mile an hour. We were actually off <laughs> off by a tooth or so uh, when, when he first rode it. That 157 miles an hour that he ran was was actually st stuttering across the finish line. Once we changed the uh, changed the sprocket, Richard says he'll 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 run 160 no problem. Um, we added a Roaring Toys uh, adjustable lowering link so you can easily raise the bike and lower it if you want to. Uh, we've got it set up to where you can probably put the wife or girlfriend on the back if you wanted uh, so uh, and then we move over here um, see we also we had to move the steering stabilizer up a little bit just so we wouldn't have any clearance problems with uh, once we raised up the the, the uh, forks and the triple clamp also now just as a as sort of a cool little added feature we have Richard Gadsden's signature on the left side and Ricky Gadsden's signature on the right. We clear coated over them so that I uh, don't have to worry about that rubbing off. And uh, that's it. It's a cool bike. It's ready to go. And uh, like I said, you can give Vista Kawasaki a call. Talk to Jim over there, 937-298-0100 if you think you're interested in a in a basically street legal drag bike ready to go.